Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And as we journey through the Old Testament in Sunday school with the LBC kids, I am constantly blown away by the continual disobedience and sin from the Israelites. They forget who they are. I mean, they're God's chosen people. And they sin. And then God punishes their sin. They repent. And then it repeats over and over. And through each one of those cycles, God shows an enormous amount of mercy. He doesn't give them what they deserve. The same mercy he showed Israel is available to us in Jesus Christ. The same mercy giving God in the Old Testament is the same mercy giving God today in Christ Jesus. Because of his mercy and grace towards us through Jesus, and because he understands our weaknesses, we can go to him for help in time of need. And right now, we need Jesus probably more than we ever have. Not just for our physical needs, but so that we can be the people that we are. We are ministers of reconciliation. God has given us the great privilege to be used to help him bring others to himself. That includes our spouses, that includes our children, our friends, and even our Facebook friends. For us to do this, we need God's strength through the Holy Spirit, and we need to acknowledge our need for him to do the work in us because we cannot muster that on our own. And then this verse says that he's ready and he's waiting for us to come to him so he can help us in our time of need. So if you're struggling to show mercy and kindness, you are in good company. Um, I believe most of us are. I know I am, and I've been really needing God to help me with that. We need mercy in our lives, and we need his power to show mercy and kindness to others. So let's go to him today and ask for his help to be the people who show mercy and kindness especially to our families, our spouses, our children. They need it desperately right now, just as much as we do, if not more. And our church, and as well as those who don't know Jesus yet. So let me close with this in Hebrews 13, 20 through 21. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to him to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. May you be encouraged today. May you go to the Lord for mercy, that you may show mercy and kindness to others, show kindness to your children and your families, and especially those who don't know Jesus. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.